Well, we destroyed the hotel. Party like a rock star. Yeah. Rob and I had exactly six drinks between us last night, yeah. and as a result, we wrecked the hotel room. Yep, there's uh, you know ceilings falling in. It's it's terrible. Look at that. Isn't it bad? I was gonna say. Look at it's all a that. Nightmare. All right. So in case you're watching this, Boston Park Plaza, we did not destroy your hotel room. This is just a joke. Yeah, it was a joke. You can see that there is still a ceiling. Look, we we even put the garbage in the garbage can. We're responsible adults. We try to be sometimes. Yeah, so day one is over. This is the beginning of day two. Um, we're a little bit lighter on staff now. But, uh, you know, we're still gonna, we still got all our appointments. What, six, seven again? Uh, we have a few today. Got booked today. Fiora went home to change clothes. Yeah. Uh, Meow is MIA. Meow lost his badge. <laughs> not gonna, not gonna sugarcoat it. Meow lost his badge. Um, can't get it replaced. Pax will not replace his badge. So we're just kind of, we're kind of shitting in the wind. Still in your toothpaste. Uh, that's fine. You can steal my toothpaste. <laughs> kind of shitting in the wind there. So we're all packed up here and ready to go. Uh, I'll show you. It's in the shower. It's very cold outside. Um, it looks beautiful outside, but it's deceptive because it's effing freezing. Yeah, that's always the thing. It's like, man, the weather looks great today, but it's negative 35. <laughs> it's negative 35. So yeah, we're going to head out uh, here in a few minutes and go over to the floor. Again, we have uh, not as many appointments today. We'll have some good floor time today, so we'll bring you guys some, some vlogging from the floor, probably. Um, sorry we did not vlog dinner last night. Uh, we didn't really... <sighs> We did Wendy's, guys. Rob went and got Wendy's for us. It wasn't that glamorous. I walked three blocks and we got Wendy's. Yeah, and then we just kind of we just kind of bombed out and went to the bar because we, we had a couple parties scheduled and everybody was kind of dead. <laughs> yeah, Pax is very very tiring when we walk around the floor for twelve hours. Everybody was was kind of was kind of worn out, so we just kind of headed straight to the uh, to the bed. Uh, Fiora didn't even make it home last night. She slept here, so. Yeah, it was it was a rough day for sure. But we're gonna we're gonna get on uh, get on today. We're gonna head back to the floor. And uh, what are you looking forward to playing today? Let's see his toothbrush in his mouth. Um, I'm gonna try to play Lawbreakers again. I know we're also seeing that's a couple space games today, and, and we're gonna be at the uh, at the Tiny Build booth. And Tiny Build has like five games today here that they're showing. So I'm excited to see Tiny Build and ask them about publishing on Dairy Sim. All right, so now what uh, do you... I think I'm actually uh, saw a bit of Osiris yesterday as we kind of walked past their booth a few times. That Look, game check that out. looks hype. That, oh, I don't know what they're. I gotta ask what they're running it on. Cause holy shit! Yeah, I it mean, looks amazing. A lot of times people will run games at packs on like super hype battle station computers. Well, I mean that's the point. They'll run them on like super max settings, which means I can too. And then when you get home, it looks like poop. But hopefully this one's not that bad. Um, Osiris New Dawn is is a space game. We're also gonna see Bring Us the Moon. Um, or Deliver Us the Moon. Deliver Us the Moon. Which is another space game. And then we're seeing one more space game that's about fleet combat. A lot of space games today. Fleet combat? Yeah, it's like 100 ships versus 100 ships. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, so it's a lot of space combat today. Uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll come back from the floor, guys. Uh, stick with us. Day two packs. that can drop and then all of a sudden you drop oh, wow. more. That's a lot of gems. So is, it, is it kind of like a uh, Crypto Necro Dancer in a sense where you have those unlocks and you unlock a currency of things? You know, or or uh, Binding, Binding of Isaac does it too, where basically you know, kill 500 enemies and then now you've unlocked this. Or uh, we have one where if you, uh, if you die you know, a certain amount of time, you unlock an item, things like that. What I really like about roguelikes is that they are they like the something that's, that's, very, that's very specialized for smaller companies. Like it's, it's like your guys' ace in the pocket. Well, that's it's what you're doing, bro. Yeah, it, it helps because if you think of an indie or a small studio like us, 
we, we, we have a lot harder time making games that you devour content. So we can't compete with the Diablos and stuff because we can't make that much content that you just simply devour. So basically, we've flipped it a little bit and said, well, we can make some good content, but we want to be able to run through it and use it. So the game mechanic is the key thing. That's why I think roguelikes are, are so popular. Well, if you say that, if you can make it very interesting, I have to admit, I want that because they had it eventually. Absolutely, that's it. That's, that's exactly key. That's exactly key. So anytime you hit the Y button, you throw on that coin, you're going to use a scroll. Everything is replenishable in the game. So if you go kill these things while they're gold statues, you get extra coins. The front, uh, your attack. Yeah, you got you got a loot pinata. I wasn't watching, but I saw how much you grabbed. So very randomly, a loot pinata happens and it just blows up the coin. So you got a ton of. Yeah, you don't. That's not normal. That's a that's a rare. That's a rarity. You want to pick up the controller? Rare drop starts flying out. That's exactly the opposite of normal. Because normally my RNG is terrible. Yeah, usually I am terrible RNG. Plus, after skills, we're clever. So basically. As you go from room to room, you gotta clear all the enemy ways before you can move on. Every time you clear a room, you have a chance of spawning a treasure chest or the exit. Okay. If you take the exit early without completing all the rooms, you forego any of that epic chest. If It's very, it's, it's a game that's, it's, it's all about, a, it's, it's a creepy game, like it's a game yeah. that's about, like the aesthetics are just like, on edge, not like, ha ha ha, pop like, the, like they but have like space water drips, like rock, like, like you could hear this, they were having like random rocks fall, and water dripping, and it was directional sound. Yeah, the atmosphere. So you were just like, what the fuck was that? Yeah, it's getting you on the atmosphere. So now we get to the part where we fucked ourselves, um, it's 2.35ish. It's close to three o'clock. Uh, we so have three stuff. We have three stuff, as Rob would say. Three stuff. We have three, three stuff at three o'clock. Count them three. Uh, so Fiora's gonna go meet with Rooster Teeth. <laughs> Rob's gonna go see some space Osiris. game. Osiris. Osiris Zero Dawn. Something, yes. Uh, and uh, I'm gonna go meet with the Tiny Build folks. Uh, we already, today we saw Frontier Elite Dangerous. Frontier at Frontier we saw Elite Dangerous. We interviewed uh, Sandy, who is their lead designer, that was really cool. Yeah, we, we talked to both lead designers on both their games. Yeah, and we also talked to the lead designer on uh, Coasters, whose name I don't remember. Unfortunately, yeah. I can build Death Coasters! Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you have to test them before you get them, though. That's the thing. I don't know if you can get it. And uh, this is what PAX looks like right now. I, mean, yeah, I, took, a, I took some videos as I was going up the escalators. We're, uh, you know, we're middle of the day on Saturday right now. It's 1.40, you know, it's, it's, it's 2.42 or something. I spy some of Justin's folks over there. Yeah, I actually ran into Justin. Did you? Oh, when I wasn't Pax is Pax. Yeah, I said hi. Yeah, it's Saturday. We, Pax we, is we Pax. Said, we said hi to each other. So, I mean, we haven't done a lot of vlogging today because we've been really busy, but yeah, after yeah. our 3 o'clock appointments, we'll sit down in the press room and do a little more vlogging. Saturday vlog is always kind of short, guys. There's just not... There's more. It's just there's more busy. We really spent a lot of Saturday doing the floor. Um, we've been giving out stickers. Rob's been doing some filming. We don't know how that's going to turn out, but yeah. hopefully, it turns out, hopefully it turns out really good. We'll probably get something good out of it. Yeah, I mean, we'll probably get some out of it. Uh, I actually got pulled into a totally random interview. With yes, we totally scored a completely random, random interview. I have... Hold on. Uh, Fiora has a lot of off-screen, so we'll be seeing a lot of off-screen on her channel. I've got over an hour and a half of footage so far. Yeah, but it's all off-screen. We didn't bring capture rigs. Uh, big mistake. Next year, learn. Bring capture rigs. Um, Piao is uh, down for the count. He still doesn't have a badge, so... Rip. Yeah. One, two, ten. You're out. Yeah, unfortunately, I can't really fix that. So we'll probably try to meet up with him tonight in the evening. Maybe get some time with him to do some, like, writing or something. Uh, and then he has a couple meetings tomorrow that we're going to try to get him in to do meetings. I think the 3 o'clock death march...